76-year-old George Spite has heart disease. His heart beats irregularly, a condition called arrhythmia, and he has day-to-day -day problems with regular activities. I was just short of breath. I couldn't even go to the bathroom. My heart just, I'd be so tired, just like, you know, I had to race back and sit down. So, Mr. Spite turned to the Detroit Medical Center and Dr. Makaram Siddiqui for help. Dr. Siddiqui, Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology at Sinai Grace Hospital, says heart failure is at epidemic proportions. There are about five and a half million patients of heart failure in this country right now. And to this pool of five and a half million patients, we add about half a million patients every year. These are the patients who are going to develop weakness of the heart muscle, manifesting as symptoms of shortness of breath, difficulty in performing day-to-day -day activities, swelling of lower extremities, and frequent hospital admissions because of fluid buildup inside the body. Dr. Siddiqui recommended cardiac resynchronization therapy. This resynchronization will get the chambers going together. This is going to make the, both the lower chambers go together. It involves implanting a pacemaker with a defibrillator to correct irregular heartbeats. This heart failure pacemaker delivers small electrical signals that help both sides of the heart to contract at the same time. So the therapy resynchronizes the heart, correcting the arrhythmia. All it requires is an incision underneath the collarbone. We get into the vein that again gets connected to the heart. And then through this vein, we thread catheters or wires that stay in the right ventricle through a vein of the heart. This way we are trying to resynchronize both the lower portions of the heart and we are going to sense the stimulus that is arising in the right upper portion or the right atrium of the heart and activate the two lower portions of the heart like how nature intended it to be. You see that screw extending out of the leaf? Is that it? Yeah. The defibrillator kicks in whenever the patient has a dangerously fast heart rhythm. It delivers an electrical impulse that basically shocks the heart back into normal rhythm. Get some numbers through the device, please. The device is tested in surgery before the patient leaves the operating room. And so, Mr. Spite's heart is back in rhythm, and he has a device implanted underneath his collarbone to keep it that way. He should go home tomorrow feeling a lot better and looking forward to an improved quality of life. Two weeks later, and Mr. Spite was back to his old self without the shortness of breath and his earlier symptoms. Yes, I know the difference before I couldn't hardly go to the bathroom. Now I can get and go anywhere I want to. They really nice up at Sinai. They they really nice. The nurses are really wonderful. They with you all night and all day and they come in, they really, you know, put joy in life. Visit us anytime at dmc.org to learn more about this minimally invasive procedure or to make an appointment with Dr. Siddiqui and the fine team at Sinai Grace Hospital. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory Kidd.